Hey, 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 hey. Check it out. The Dano van has arrived in Woodland Hills. And look at where we're at. We are here at Gary L. Wales house. And we'll get to that later. We got a Rolls Royce pick em up truck. We got a farm all tractor. And we got the engineer, Andreas. We got Gary. How you doing, hey, Good Gary. Good. How you doing? Hey, Andreas. Cool. Hi, viewers. Yeah. What do we got here, Gary? Look at this garage. Well, we got a full garage, but it won't be here for very long. Oh, no? We are going to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. In the cars are all leaving in September. And there's going to be a world auction at the Riyadh Motor Show. And it's going to be the first car auction ever. And they're only auctioning off. 100 cars 100 cars and the thing that i get a kick out of is because let's face it the king and all the princes and there's a load of them they're all collectors and they can and they play the game can you top this <laughs> well how do you top brand new ferraris and lamborghinis and penangis and you name it, everything that you want they make whole runs of automobiles for these guys they have everything but these <laughs> yeah. And we're going to give them five cars to auction. And out of the hundred cars, we have five of them. Oh, wow. It's going to be Lusty well, 2, La Bistione, the yeah. hundred and four or five year old 14 liter. We have up in the front of that the 1938 Bentley, the Black Prince. And beside that is the Batmobile, that's mm -hmm. 103 years old. And, of course, the only copy of the wide job in the world, which was the very, very first concept car and considered one of the most important cars ever, certainly in America. But this is the only copy. Okay. The original is in the vault at General Motors in Michigan, and they got a $10 million in, uh, insurance policy on it, and it doesn't get out very often. Now, this is a Harley Earl uh, design? This is a Harley Earl design. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it runs beautifully. All of them do. And then I've got the little Rolls pickup truck, which you can't see right now. Right. I'm re finishing a little bit of wood on the back, but it's the one with the pull-out tray. I'll, I'll show you the pull-out tray in there. All right. It looks a little weird right now, but let me show you this. <laughs> and I think this <laughs> will probably get their attention also. Because this is a hell of a car. Now let me get that out and I'm going to show you what makes this one absolutely so clever. <laughs> this. Look at those headlights. Hey. But I mean, you can see the interior. I mean, it's a lovely old thing. It's been stashed for 44 years. Right hand driver. Now I'm going to show you the magic of this car. It's real hot rod, pedals and gears. To do the magic that I expected to, but we'll show you here. This is called the Blue Knight. The Blue Knight. Got it in neutral. <laughs> That's it, running. Starts right up. Is that unbelievable? The wood is off the back right at the moment because I'm refinishing it. But now let me show you the magic of this car. <laughs> Why would anybody want an old, old Rolls like this? Because they might oh, want to have a party. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Oh, now watch cool. this. <laughs> that might come handy in the desert. What do you think? Wow. Is that a gas? It is a gas. Literally a Literally gas. Literally a gas, yeah. Got all the matching, matching plates, plates in that, and all we got to do is put in the silverware. And it's sinking all. But isn't that absolutely a marvelous old thing? <laughs> wow. Got jump seats in the back. That's so it's a great car. It's a grandpa car. You take the grandkids out of there. All of this is all refinished. I just finished that, and we'll be putting that on. But it's just a wonderful old thing. Flip-flop, waggers, everything works, and you can hear it running. It starts, I haven't started it in three days. Yeah, it starts now, right oh, up. Boom. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? And the amazing part is, the chrome in that I is absolutely original, brand new. It's not like it's it's dirty right now. 
but it's not like that it's been re-chromed or uh, been That's sleeping for 44 years. Look the at this. The bright work is beautiful. It's absolutely brand new, every piece on it. Wow. And I've got the video of the gentleman that did it for Classic Coachworks. He owned it, and he built this, and he's 93 years old. And he's sitting in the car and he says, this is the first time I've seen it in 44 years. Oh. It's been stashed. And the son, his son bought it back, his half interest in it, and brought the, so Clyde could have his last ride in it. And within a month, he was passed. Oh, wow. But it, it's, it's, there's a man that had a chance to build something that was com quite unique, and then it got stashed. And he got his last ride in it before he passed away. What a story. So anyway, yeah. come on in. All right. Let well, let's go through the garage and uh, sure. look at the cars one come last on time here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, of course, you got the trophies, memorabilia all here. Oh, uh, got lots of it for yeah. sure. Come on, we'll go through I'll follow the you. side over here. All right. Come on through here. We do enjoy this. Gotta tell you, that all yeah, the different... That man things on the cars and how they were found and so forth but we're going to have a ball yeah, so yeah. i think we're going to set a record or two people say oh but how can you get part with something like this well yeah. at my age i can afford to part with a good pot of it and uh we'll make more that's it's yeah. making room i have no room i have to park the right. car outside that's just insane and just recently, you had a part with the Lives of Rolls Royce, right? Yeah. So you yeah. can make room. Yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to do what I can to get rid of some of these things. And, you know, I love all they're like It's like yeah. giving your child away. But you know what? Piecemeal is really tough. But if yeah. you, if I can let go of five cars at one time, fine. I still have a couple more in the back. Actually, I have six more cars. And I got my eyes on a bunch of other things that we want to create and build. Right. And it gives me the facility, the space, and the money <laughs> to do what I want to do, which is create and build wonderful works of mobile art. Well, this will these uh, four going to Saudi will generate a lot of money to, I to create. I certainly hope you're right. I just replayed this video of uh, you explaining how this happened. Oh, <laughs> that was incredible. He went yeah. down to the store and picked up this and and put the words down there, like uh, like in, from the, the Batman deal. That was one of those crazy things. We were invited to take it over to the Pasadena Art College of Design and uh, <laughs> for the next Sunday. And so all day Saturday, Andreas and I worked like little chipmunks. Man, we got everything done. And we had this out in the back garage. And I said, Andreas, it's time about 3 o'clock. It's time to take it out in the sunlight so we can really make sure that it's fine. He said, fine. I said, light it up. And he lit it up and he pressed the button and it went boom. And this thing went right up through the hood. I'm telling you, I almost messed myself. <laughs> he looked like he swallowed a Cheerio. It was absolutely amazing. That was one of those things that really, really got us. And so what do we do? We're going in. It was nothing a big deal about it other than it, a plug blew out because someone had removed the original threads on it and placed a, a steel insert on it and redid the threads and had three little teeny pegs in there holding it. Well, the pegs finally gave up and it would blew up. So we ran up to Michael's and we got all these little red letter stickers and we stuck it on. What else could we do? So we take it to, the, to Pasadena College and people loved it. And I said, well, should I make a new hood? I'd make a new side of the hood, it, it, nothing. And he said, oh no, leave it. This is pop art now. Yes, it is. So we now have pop art. So that's how we do it. Anyhow, uh, you have uh, signed uh, the walls, I suppose. And no, I have not. I, but you will. I will this time, but there's, we have some very famous names on this wall, I understand, huh? Yes, we do. Oh, uh -huh. Charles Churchill Villiers, he's... Uh, that's for Churchill is for his godfather Winston uh -huh. Villiers is the uh, in the Doomsday Book and uh, Charles and, and his father Amherst Villiers is the one that did the blowers on the blower Bentleys uh -huh. in the 29-30-31 I mean it's amazing and he's a tremendous painter if you ever get to a Wolfgang Puck for us, well, that's mostly his paintings these two giant ones are, are paintings of uh, 
Charles Villiers. No. Yeah. But the first guy to sign this, I just finished putting in all these walls, and I was kind of standing here going, hey, that's really cool. And I felt the presence, and I look over at the door, and there's this little guy standing there with a skip hat and a checkered sport coat. And I looked, and I said, oh, Joe Jamke Stewart? And he said, I love you, I am. I said, what the hell are you doing here? He said, oh, mate told me if I was in the neighborhood, I should stop by and have a drink. So we went and had a few drinks. He signed it. He was the first one. First one. So now, in the meantime, all good car people, when they come in, they're real car people, wankers, as we like to say. Wankers, yeah. <laughs> You get to sign the wall. Well, I don't know. I don't you kind of have those credentials. So. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, boy. you do. So anyhow, would love to have you sign the wall. And uh, anyhow, yeah. this is this is our little home away from home in the front garage. All right. You can take a back garage. Sure, let's, like, or let's do that. Or want to do another video. I don't know. Let's uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and close it out. We'll do a brand new fresh video. Sure. There you have it. You heard the word. We're gonna go see some more down live here in Woodland Hills. Gary L. Wells.